Hi everyone, this is Philippe Castillo and in this video I'm going to show you how to automate a roller shutter using a Shelly 2.5. First things first, you'll need the Shelly 2.5 as you can see here. And these are the set of tools we'll be using to automate our roller shutter. These are the buttons that control the roller shutter. It has two buttons, one for up and one for down. Only one button can be active at the same time. Before starting installing the device, ensure that the grid is powered off. Turn down the circuit breakers. Then remove the switch covers. Then unscrew and remove the switch from the wall. Gently pull it out. Here you can see the up, down and line wires that we will remove from the switch and connect to the Shelly. Since the existing wire connector only supports two wires, we need to replace it with one that supports three wires so that we can use an extra wire to power the Shelly. Now let's connect the blue wire, which is the neutral wire, into the Shelly's neutral input, which is marked with the letter N. Next up, we will connect the black wire, which is the line wire, into the Shelly's line input, which is marked with the letter L. Now it's time to detach the roller shutter up and down wires from the wall switch and connect them to the Shelly. This procedure can sometimes be complicated. These wires will need to go into the O1 output 1 and O2 output 2 Shelly inputs. In this case we will connect the black wire to the O2 and the brown wire into the O1 Shelly input. We will then place the wall switch as close as possible to the Shelly so that we don't waste any space inside the wall. So in order to achieve this we need to have some very small wires. Then we connect these wires to the wall switch. Afterwards we will connect them to the Shelly. The L wire goes to the Shelly L input. This wire will go to the Shelly Switch 2 input and finally this wire will go to the Shelly Switch 1 input. Try to get the Shelly as close as possible to the wall switch so that you'll have an easier time fitting everything inside the wall. It's now time to turn on the electricity again so that we can try the Shelly. Once the Shelly is powered, the backlight will start blinking. We then connect to the Shelly access point so that we can configure the Shelly to connect to our home network. Once that happens, the Shelly application will automatically discover the new Shelly device. Then tap to add the new device, give it a name, select a room, select a picture and save. Connect it to the cloud if you want to be able to remote control your Shelly device. Switch to roller shutter and that's it. We're ready to open and close our shutters. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you have any questions, put on the comments below or check out the Shelly support group on Facebook. You can find all links in the description below. Thanks for watching.